Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to install Windows Server 2012 R2 onto your Mac using VMware Fusion. So I'm assuming that you already have the VMware Fusion application. You've got it downloaded, all right? So you're gonna be presented with a window like this. So you can get this app from, um, from the VMware website. You can purchase it, you can use a trial version, et cetera, et cetera. But we're assuming that you've got this, you've got it up and running, and we're now ready to install Windows 2012 R2. So the good thing about VMware Fusion is you can actually install that the, the, uh, this Windows server and actually have it running side by side with your Mac operating system. So unlike something like Boot Camp, where you have to restart the computer to boot into Windows, this will let you run them in a separate window uh, independently of one another, um, but on the same machine at the same time, which is a really, really cool feature. So we're gonna be using a Windows 2012 R2 ISO, uh, which I've acquired through a license that I have with Microsoft, but yours maybe have gotten, uh, you may have received it from a different location. You may also have the CD, DVD, etc. The process from doing it from disk uh, or image is virtually you know, pretty much the same. It's not too difficult, not too different between them, uh, but we're gonna be doing it with the ISO itself. So go ahead and, and select that, install disk from image, continue. And now it's gonna ask us to, I can just drag that in, but you can just go and say, use disk or disk image. You select where your location of your ISO or where your DVD slash CD of your Windows Server 2012 R2 is. Once it's in the list here, select it and click on continue and actually put in your information, put in the password of the administrator um, and put in your Windows product key straight off the front if you want to, or you can do this later on, okay? You don't have to do it right now, uh, but you'll see is because I've installed this ISO, selected this ISO, it's automatically populated this, uh, this field here. So look, for, the, for now, we're just gonna leave a blank. We're not gonna do it, but feel free to go and do this if you find that easier rather than doing it later on. It's automatically selected capacity of 60 gig. Memory is two gig. Uh, it's gonna be giving me a CD, USB drive, etc. So the good thing about VMware uh, Fusion is if I go into the virtual machine, uh, I can't do it from there, it's okay, from customize settings, from in here. First thing it's gonna do is gonna ask me to save that VM. So this is essentially just a virtual machine. So it's just a, essentially a file that contains all your information, uh, all your Windows operating system, etc., cetera, all your files in one single image, all right, which is a VMware VM, uh, .VMware VM uh, image file, okay? So you can go ahead and you can download this, you can copy it, you can back it up, etc. Very easy to manage it. So you don't have to back up the entire computer, you know, to move it to another computer. You can just copy this file and then add it to another VMware Fusion somewhere else, for example. So we're just gonna save it. So we're gonna say it's Windows Server 2012 R2, that's what we're gonna call it. And we're saving it onto the hard drive of this Mac. So be aware that however big, okay, so as you can see, because it was 60 gig, it's gonna use up to 60 gig of storage on my Mac. So just be aware that you've got enough storage on your Mac um, before you go ahead and install this. You'll be presented with this sort of similar option. You can also access from virtual machine settings, the same area. And in here you can customize how you want your VM to, um, like what resources you want your VM to have. So you can go in and actually adjust. You can give it more RAM, you can give it more processors. Um, you can give it an additional hard drive. You can expand the additional hard drive, right? Revert. Uh, you can uh, give it a hard, uh, an additional network card, uh, those sort of things as well. So we're gonna leave all that as default. And we're gonna go ahead and start it. So this is now going to load that Windows 2012 R2 ISO file. And we'll, pre and we'll be then presented with the Windows 2012 um, login setup screen as well, okay? So let's select your language and your time currency. We'll leave that as default and install now. You'll see also that it says here to release your mouse 
press control command okay because you'll find that sometimes your mouse gets stuck in here so pressing control command actually frees your mouse up a bit more easy okay so go ahead and install uh, put in your um, your serial key in there select the option that you want to install we're going to say server with GUI for the 2012 r2 data center edition yours may be slightly different so just select the one that you want uh, agree to those terms and conditions if you agree to them continue here we're going to select custom so we're going to install windows only and you've got your hard drive here so this is the 60 gig that is potentially going to be used on your mac computer uh, as I said, you can expand this um, if you do want to before you go ahead and install this, but you can, actu you can actually expand it later and add an additional disk later if you want as well. So that is now going to start the install. Uh, should, shouldn't take too long and we'll check back once it's done. So the install should now finish. Uh, you'll be asked to log in to your um, Windows Server 2012. Uh, so log in as you would normally and then you're presented with your standard server manager screen now the first thing that I'm going to want to do is install that VMware tools right which I've already executed it but you're going to be presented with this screen here and this is going to allow you to have seamless um, activity between your Windows and your Mac operating systems it's going to install a whole bunch of drivers mouse drivers display drivers all those sort of things so that it runs better uh, within your your within your Mac environment. So go ahead and say next and finish. I'm not going to do it here just because it does take a couple of minutes. So that is it. So that is the full installation of Windows Server 2012 R2 on your Mac using VMware Fusion. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.